good morning. Today we are on part four of our little series on the doctrines of grace. And today we're going to look at a wonderful doctrine known as uh, the doctrine of irresistible grace. And this ties in with the first discussion that we had about free will. Remember we said that we do have free will within our nature. You can't choose to fly, um, otherwise you would, even though you have free will. In the same way, you can't choose God out of your own free will. You need God to help you. Well, there's a, a logical question that comes from that. If uh, What if God is choosing me, is drawing me, is wanting to save me, and I, I don't want him? And I want to reject him because that's what people say is they say that, well, the reason this person isn't saved is because they have free will and they chose to reject God. So that's the question I want to look at today. How does God save you? Is he able to overcome your free will? Is he able to, in a sense, you could say, save you against your will? And the answer is, as often is the case with theological deep questions, Yes and no. No, God does not save people against their will. What he does is he changes their will so that they want him and then they choose him. Let me read you some verses just to prove that to you. One is John chapter 6, verse 36. Jesus said, But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. So here Jesus says with confidence that all that the Father gives me will come to me. There is nobody who will say, no, I'm not going to. I don't want to. So everybody that God gives Jesus will choose Jesus. John chapter 5 verse 21. For as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whom he will. When Jesus wants to give you life, spiritual life, cause you to be born again, he does that to whomever he wills. And when he wants to save you, you get saved. Now, as I said, this isn't against the person's will. Uh, it's not like a person doesn't want to be saved and God says, well, you have to be saved. You know, I, I said that you were going to be John the Baptist. You don't have any choice in not being John the Baptist. Uh, John, you have to be saved. That's not how it works. God works to woo you with his love and his kindness and his compassion. He opens your mind through the illumination of the Holy Spirit and he gives you new desires. And one of those desires is to choose him. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 gives us a wonderful picture of this. I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules. So God is the one that takes the initiative and gives us not only the power and the ability to choose him, but also the desire to choose him. And so again, God gets all the credit for all of my choices because he was the one that gave me the desire for that. There's another example of this in Acts chapter 16, verse 4. One who heard us was a woman named Lydia from the city of Thyatira, a seller of purple goods, who was a worshiper of God. The Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. So here was uh, Lydia, who was a, a worshiper of God in some form, um, but she was not yet a Christian. She had not yet heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when Paul preached to her, it says that the Lord opened her heart to pay attention. There were many Jews who heard the gospel and hardened their hearts and rejected, but not Lydia, because the Lord opened her heart. So this is another picture of the irresistible grace of God, is that when he sets his love upon you to save you, he changes your desires that you want him, that you do understand the truth, that you respond to it, you choose him. And in that way, we get all of the grace and he gets all of the glory. Tomorrow we'll see, well, what happens to people who stop being Christian? Is there a way for you to lose your salvation? So tune in tomorrow. God bless.